Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Wave, and uh, today we're taking a look at the Nasdaq. So as usual, I will leave you the longer term account popping up on the top right of the screen where I go over multiple different long term scenarios that are available as of right now. And today we're going to focus on my main account, which is the one you're looking at right now. Uh, now, I wanted to mention that uh, a member today shared an interesting account, which I wanted to share. So let me show you. All of this was available and is available on the Discord, which is free, and it's in the link is in the description down below. So here's Kev. Uh, so he, he used the line chart, which is absolutely fine. Actually, I obviously developed it uh, using a line chart, and uh, it's a bit uh, messy because there's not really distinction in degrees. Uh, but what he has for the long term count basically appears to be a one two if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm a bit confused about, about this one too. So I don't know if it's a one, two, one, two, or, uh, or what's going on here. It, it looks like it, a one, two, three, four, five, I'd guess. Um, so yeah, it looks like it, he has it as a one, two, this is 08, 09. Sorry, that's 08, 09. So one, two, uh, so it looks like a one, two, one, two, which if it is, I'm at this wave two here looks much smaller than this wave uh, t uh, 2 and if this is one lesser degree and it's highly unlikely uh, it could be this is a 1 2 and then up uh, but uh, not 1 2 I, I wouldn't see it as a 1 2 1 2 um, and that's what he has for the short term which is a bit different than mine uh, as you can see here a 1 2 3 4 I have it as uh, what do you have it at uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so basically, he is suggesting that this wave four is here. And uh, so that being said, if I actually look at the line chart, uh, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't really like that to be honest. Um, that's why I prefer wave two here. Um, and also, you could easily count this as a three wave move, which is what you're going to see in the hourly chart. Uh, so I'm a, I mean, having a count like this. Especially calling a bottom here, it's extremely bullish. I recognize that, uh, but I'm not saying that uh, you know that other count is not possible. It absolutely is. Now that being said, let's focus on the intraday. So here we should have a few different counts. Let me see. Okay, so it's a bit slow today. My apologies. Okay, so this one is which is my preferred one. To done. Now, we pulled back yesterday. Today is, by the way, Friday the 23rd of August, and the market opens in about one hour. So it, it, it looks like, you know, we could have done something like this, basically. You know, something like this. It's possible. Uh, if we look at February, you know, relationships. This was 1.618. Uh, so yeah, it makes sense. It could be a way three. Obviously, it could still be, you know, a three wave move ABC. And now we crash. Uh, but uh, you know, the good thing is that we broke previous wave B. So if especially if we could, you know, do something like this here, I would expect as the wave two was sharp, I would expect for it to be sideways and then upside. At that point, it's going to be interesting. And especially, it's going to be interesting to see what is going to happen around 20,000 because 20,000 is really important, as I always say on the channel. That's what I always preach because two is a strong number, and 20,000, you know, you could call it psychological, you can call it whatever you want, it is important. Um, so, that being said, I think it's also worth mentioning uh, the CFD market. Sorry about that, oh, it's my phone. Apparently, everyone wants me, but my girlfriend. Um, so, here on the CFD, so the futures in, in some shape or form, we are up 0.5% uh, on the pre-market, which is interesting. Uh, this looked pretty sharp, you know, which we also see here. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I would ideally like it to, you know, stay around 19,500. So let's see how it's going to develop. If we get something sideways, then it, w it would be ideal. Or uh, could also, you know, get some sort of a flat, something like this, 
to take orders out. Uh, but yeah, I would expect a wave four. Um, that's where all what I would look for. Um, I mean, the previous, you know, when I was calling this run to the upside, we got it. Uh, you can fuck check me on that. Uh, now I would expect that uh, if so, I wouldn't buy now. I would expect to see, you know, how this develops if it does. And uh, I mean, if we take a look at that, let's take a quick look. And though it should be on the tech stocks, because otherwise I don't, I barely have your watch time. Um, but uh, yeah, this is Amazon. You can see here. Um, let's take a look at Nvidia. Yeah, here in Nvidia, I was also thinking about something like this. But it's also possible we have something like this, to be honest. Three, four, five. It's possible, especially if we take. Let's see, one point six one eight to the point. To the dollar, to the cent, to the penny, um, and then Apple, obviously the leading one, uh, looks like you know looks like this. So it looks like we could be do one more move higher, up what what is that like, one dollar and a half uh, on the in the pre market. Um, so yeah, I would uh yeah I like to see that. Let's see what what's gonna happen, how it's gonna play out. Um, very bullish on Apple. I could be wrong, uh, as everyone is bearish. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, Tesla also retracing. So it looks like this wave E is not completed, and we might get something like this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll save it for the tech update. But it looks like the NASDAQ overall, what I'm trying to say is, it looks like NASDAQ, uh, we could see for their upside to come. Uh, and overall, I want to see one more like higher. And eventually, let's see if we get. If we do get it, let's see if we do get a three ways move and then upside. As usual, if you enjoyed the content, I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a like if you will, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.